I got a call sometime early in 2004 whether I would be interested in coming to Amsterdam to become a professor there and to develop and perhaps found a university college for the, for the Vrije Universiteit Amsterdam. A lot of curriculum discussions in the university are about cake cutting. Who gets most of the students and gets what? But the AUC was a new cake. We are baking a new cake. So uh, yeah, I still remember that curriculum uh, discussion as uh, yeah, a wonderful creative uh, period. The sentence that became its motto, of course, and still is, I guess, and that is excellence and diversity in a global city. Because we guess that the whole rationale and, and, you know, to have a legitimation for founding such a new program and institute is that we would really prepare students or enable students to develop for life in a global world. And that is to be able to compete. That's the excellence part. And at the same time to collaborate, especially with people different than yourself. AUC emphasizes having an international outlook, uh, respect for other cultures, and that I see it with my own family and in students who have finished AUC, how much that is part of their everyday life and part of the work that they do. I like the interdisciplinarity and breaking down the barriers between, uh, as we say, alpha, beta, gamma. Uh, many people think that uh, if you're like that, uh, you have a sort of personality problem. But I think there's a natural kind of students that, whose interests are actually like that. So the AUC was a natural habitat, I think, for a natural kind. Most important uh, of the founding principles to me was, I think, the interdisciplinary uh, view that we try to uh, set up with the focus on science. It was very novel for uh, the Netherlands to have a university college focused on science, and I really thought that it was adding something to the whole uh, yeah, university and what they had to offer. When I think back to the founding principles of uh, AUC, I particularly remember the curriculum circle that was drawn up with the, the sort of the image of this interdisciplinary circle that students would work their way through to graduate. Um, and that's partly because I wish there had been a program like that when I was a student. The uh, AUC curriculum, this round circle, it's the same as the Bauhaus uh, sort of curriculum at, uh, and uh, it looked so amazing. I was doing uh, Beta Gamma at the time, also liberal arts and sciences and uh, yeah, it looked, so, uh, it looked so full and holistic. I saw like, yeah, this, this is it. What is for me very important, uh, you know, beside having an interdisciplinary program is also to find a connection to society, in our case the city, the city of Amsterdam. So, City classroom, the concept of city labs, etc. This is uh, vital for me to have a higher education system which is connected to projects in the cities, to, is connected in my current work. You know, what are the problems of the city and how do we find answers to these problems? So, this is a very fundamental way of solving uh, problems, and this is what we need to carry into the higher education institutions. When AEC started talking about excellence and diversity, it wasn't as, um, let's say, as sexy as it now is. It definitely made me think about excellence and diversity on its own. I learned a lot and uh, also in my current work, what I'm doing, it's all about excellence and diversity, how to uh, stimulate it more in our society. I know it influenced all of my colleagues to uh, study something. People came in as working at the reception desk, but are now uh, have another degree. Yeah, it's one big family and I just uh, hope that it stays that way and it continues to inspire society. I think AUC's principles, its founding principles, are still enormously important uh, in today's world. They're kind of the broad bachelor with the specialisation that uh, the students leave with a really well-rounded education. I still think that's of a, a great importance. And yes, the curriculum 
uh, will change and there will, uh, will be innovations and things will change. But uh, I think that the underlying principles are still really important. So I have the feeling that some of AC's principles still have found their way into my, uh, my work and my daily life. I teach at the moment at a secondary school that has been set up along the lines of, of AUC's uh, ideals, interdisciplinary approach, and setting a high standard for uh, student performance. Well, maybe one of my favorite memories is, uh, I think you already interviewed uh, Kuhn. The, the moment I met him at one of our open days at VU, and um, we started talking about the program, and he actually became one of our best students. And the fact that we're here today, 10 years after, and he's now teaching at the school, um, I think that for me sums up the AUC experience. What I hope for AUC is that um, the curriculum will continue to prepare students adequately for the 21st century because I see it in young people around me, also in my own family. I see the skills that they need, flexibility, modern languages, ability to work in a team. All these things are necessary if you're going to function adequately in this 21st century and I think that's what AUC possibly with that curriculum can really give to students in this coming century. And I see our students uh, graduate uh, with so much promise and uh, knowledge and skills and I think we really are producing uh, world leaders. I'm sure we're going to see some graduates in, in world leader positions. I would say uh, uh, let it produce the kind of students it has been producing. Uh, let that building in Science Park uh, remain the beacon for this type of research, this type of teaching. I think we cannot have enough of it, so the more the better. The motto is still relevant, excellence and diversity in the global city, my goodness. I mean, we cannot open the newspapers without reading about the challenges that are present but also ahead. So I wish I wish AUC the students as we know them and generations of them to come and the, and the privilege of teaching them.